Okay. Woohoo, that was sick! So there are, um... There's that tent feature. What? You were supposed to teleport. Alright, motherfucker. Yeah! But yeah, there were camp- there was that set of tents that I could dash through earlier inside of this dungeon. I'll have to make my way back over there. One thing to note is the, um... The piece of power also speeds up my movement. I wonder how that combines with my dash. Ow. It's hard to tell. That was a tiny room. I don't think he saw that coming. Silver key? Oh, money! That's cool, too. Yeah, I guess I could, like, move this out of the way. There we go. Now I have permanent access up top, if I need it, which, you know, maybe I will. How the fuck do I get down there? Maybe I dig? Nope! Not in this dungeon! Hmm... Yeah, I guess we'll just have to try our luck by going to the entrance of this area. Teleport us to this- to the- well, the front. Come on. We're here! Wait, hold on. We never checked out this area to the right. Oh, it repulses! How the fuck do I do with that? Okay, I made it work. Without the ultimate power of sprinting... Who knows what would have happened? Ah, he canceled my run! <laughs> what a dangerous slot! Oh my god. Okay. Okay. I understand. Oh god, I'm gonna die! Yikes. I'm trying to see if this one-shots you. It's the only way I can test my damage value, you son of a bitch! Fine! I give up. Just kidding. Yeah! What the fuck ever? He was straight pinned against the wall. And then we're just surrounded. Alright. I don't know which rooms have a hint owl. Here's one. What do you want? 
far away. Do not fear. Dash and fly. Okay. Well, I guess that brings up the question... Can I dash... ...and jump? Ooh. We'll have things to consider about this, but, you know, uh, potential options afoot. So somewhere in here is... Somewhere on this floor, or uh, on the first floor, is a gap that I have to jump across, probably to reach, like, this chest or something. I'm not fully sure. Yeah, I, I don't really need to deal with you. I was about to say, is this just a clear out all the enemies room? <laughs> What's so special about it? Alright, well now we have three silver chests, or silver keys, and I don't know where the fuck to use them. I guess there's this shit over here. Jesus. Do I need four silver keys? Are you kidding me? Alright. Well... There are a couple of chests that we could still try going for. I don't know if any of them are immediately available to me though. Alright, what do you want me to do with this room? Poke suspicious parts of the wall with your sword and listen to the sounds it makes. Okay, do I that? what do you want me to do about that then? Oh, that's just a bomb wall. You know, with the giant fucking arrow pointing at it, I guess. <laughs> I guess it could be a place for me to check out. All right, so that's why we have to dash and fly. Ah, oh, I tried. All right, I definitely have to dash and jump. Got it. Son of a bitch. All right. The dungeon key. Well, nightmare key. Oh god, there are gonna be places in the overworld where now I have to, like, remember if it was jumpable or not. Oh god. Does it have to spawn me, like, on the fucking tile before death? T-Rock! Thank you for gifting a sub to the walking bubble. Okay, so... Awkward problem. <laughs> I still need one more silver key in order to reach the boss room in the first place. Alright, that does actually do two sword hits worth of damage. I fully confirm that now. I just wanted to make sure I had it memorized. You'll let up at some point, or I'll get through the door! Ow. <laughs> Ow. What's over here on the right? Oh shit! Maybe if I kill them at the same time. No, that didn't open it. Hmm.
<laughs> Watch that be the silver key too. I don't know how the hell we access it, but it's... It's there. Maybe I put a bomb here, you know? Nope, that didn't reveal it. There is like a really random slime. Maybe that's relevant. Well, that's worthless. I already had the whole place revealed. Whoa, I like dove off. Holy shit. Ow. Pew. Ooh. How do I get in? I need a silver key. It's the last one. Alright, Skeletal Bros, I need you to, to, to help me out here. How do I access your chest? Your secret hidden chest that's gonna allow me to kill your big boss man. Eh. Well, killing them at the same time with my spin attack didn't work, but killing them at the same time with my sword did- That is not a silver key! But thank you for the 300 rupees. Where the fuck is the silver key then? It has to be- it's probably in this back room over here that had the bombable door, but I don't know how to get in there. I guess I could try bombing the other side that doesn't look like it's broken at all. Oh shit, I just tried to kill him. Right, 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 right. Because I do two sword hits in one. You just had to kill the room. Yeah, but I killed off the room multiple times, so, you know. Something doesn't add up. Not the little red slime. I guess. Bomb. Okay. Alright. That's what it wanted me to do. Oh, bullshit. Come on. One bomb exploding on the other! You know what I can afford more of? Getting rubbed more by Crazy Tracy. Hey boys! I finally accomplished my goal. So I'll- I'll- I'll, I'll see you later now. I'm leaving the dungeon. I mean, not yet, but I, I will be soon enough. Huh. What up, man? Okay, I see what you want me to do. You want me to, like, piss you off here. Right. Okay, well, that didn't work. There we go.
I try to see if I could make the jump. Normally, not possible. Yikes, this room is terrible. I'll make it work, though. I uh, got him! Oh, God, no. Well, this isn't so bad. Wait, what the fuck is this silver key for? Huh? Huh? I don't know, there's no other chests or door that I'm aware of. I'm just gonna go beat this guy up. Maybe the silver key will be used beyond him. Neener neener, you can't find me. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you're like... <laughs> above me, like right here. Do I run into the wall and knock him down? There you go! Damn, that's the one-eyed beast! Didn't expect it to be a slime, but you know, probably for the better. Slime eye! Neener neener! Stab it in the eye! With a dash! Bullshit, come on! Alright, I think I have to run over to the other side and hit the other eye too. Hit the eye! Run! Hit the other eye! Oh god. This is either really tight timing or I'm doing something wrong. Keep hitting the eyeball! Maybe that'll make it split! Maybe I have to hit it at the same time as my other explosion! Hmm. Oh my god, I'm gonna fucking die to this boss because of touch damage. I'm about to get my first game over. Maybe I have to hit it, in, maybe I have to bomb it in between its bits here. You little motherfucker! Come on. Eh. I either bomb it or I hit it. No. Nope. Yep, I'm dead. Sick. Sick. Ah, <sighs> first game over. Nice. I love touch damage. Truly love touch damage. It's a fun mechanic. Hey, hey, hey. There goes the perfect ending. If there was an ending that required you to not die, oh well. Uh, let's get back in there, but have full health. I hate touch damage, it's such a stupid way to fucking die in a game. No, I could have made my power last a little bit longer. Boom, knock it off. Bring him to the ground. And then go back to stabbing him. Oh my god. 
All right, let's try this. Okay, sick. This is such a fucking clumsy mechanic, dude. What? <laughs> like, it, it, it gets me hurt. Cool, all right, well, we separated him. Oh, no. You know, that was a good combo attack. Good for them. to touch damage. Ah, oh, stupid. I'm still getting a lot of information I did not ask for. But all right. Waterfall. It is hidden in the waterfall. Okay, you know, that's... That's straightforward. It's hidden in the waterfall. Hoot! How many instruments have you gotten so far? Three? When you play the instruments in front of the egg, the windfish will wake and you will leave the island. Now you must hasten to the Arna Desert. The dark, monstrous habitat uh, inhabitants of the sand will show you the way. Hoot, hoot. That sounds spooky. The dark what inhabitants? <laughs> Are you sure I should? I should go talk to them. Eee. Anyways. I guess there's a place I could probably running jump to like over here maybe i'm just trying to look at spots on the map where that would like give me access to to this there's also this one right here there's a waterfall up here and here and here and here well let me let me actually head back to town first is dashing like this? Ooh, yes! This is something I've wanted. Being able to rapidly cut through grass. And obviously run across the map. That's nice, too. Bring, bring! This is Lorira! Now you are in a desert which is located in the southeast of the island. You will find something called the Angular Key. Hmm. How much more obvious do I have to be? Bye. <laughs> Don't worry, old man. I get it. I comprehend it. Ow. Lax Leo, thank you for gifting five subs to Go Yokoi, Crimson Raider, Eve D1, Feror, and Iced Pyro. Hello, friend. I'm here to buy your overpriced stuff. Piece of heart. A low 200 rupees. You know, now it's a low 200 rupees. All right. Let us head over. Actually, I wonder if they have anything else in the trendy game area. You know, anything new now that I I, I basically swapped them or sweep them of everything cool. Ooh. Wait, what the hell? Is that Chow Chow? That's weird. Anyways, we got a secret shell. 
Not that I'm probably gonna get all of them, but uh, screw it. Yes, yes, yes. Give me that money. Honestly, I feel like I'm bullshitting the game. Those things should be flying out of the claws easily. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yes. Yes. No! Hello! What? So the skinny as fuck rupee doesn't slip through the claw, but the chonky shell does? Okay. Give. It slipped out, but maybe... Oh, oh, okay, maybe it'll still work. This is gonna fall out like 20 hundred times. I see it. Oh my god! We're masters of the crane! Sweet. No. 20 rupees, meh. Seashell, cool. And then there's Chow Chow? You got a Chow Chow figure. There must be somewhere you can display it. Oh, this is one of the figures. Okay. I don't know where to put it. I mean, we'll have to look around. I wonder if there's any actual reward. I would guess that a Chow Chow displays in the house that has Chow Chow, but maybe not. Yeah, here we go. Place a Chow Chow figure here. Place it. It's a Chow Chow figure, like the real thing. It requires a lot of love and a lot of patience. I got nothing out of it. Oh. It's pure collectible. All right, well, let's get out of here. I'm filled with a little bit of disappointment, but honestly, I'm not surprised. Alright, let us head over to the desert, maybe see a little bit of it, and then I think it might be about that time to take a break. Alright, how am I... nope. How am I gonna get across that gap? I don't even access the area for the gap. Here we go. Yeah. Sketchy, but maybe doable. Oh my god, you can't- I like lose all momentum there. Okay, so where the fuck am I supposed to do it? Hmm. You know what I also just remember? There's a dream instrument that I could have gone for. I'll head back. Because otherwise I'll forget. Oh, that's fucked up! <laughs> Covering my entrance like that, Jesus. Whoops, that's not what I wanted. Hey, an apple! He picked up a green apple. These are the best kind for recovering hearts. Oh shit! I didn't know I could do that. Uh, 
All right. There's a place for me to sleep away all of our troubles right up here. Hold on, let's kill a kid. <laughs> Close. Maybe next time, buddy. All right, Dream Shrine. Nintendo Loki starting a red versus green apple war? Well, green apples win out, obviously. Holy Jesus, this just completely invalidates these enemies and I'm for it. You got the ocarina! You should learn to play many songs! So is that one of the eight instruments, or can I actually use it for something? Ooh! A small instrument that plays a haunting tune. Uh, well, it's an ocarina, but you don't know how to play it. <laughs> that's... that's funny. Alright, fair enough. So I wonder if it will find, like, uh, a sheet that allows us to actually properly play it. You know, maybe play some classic Zelda tunes. <sighs> ah. The dream has brought us many things. Maybe we'll ask, uh... Maybe we'll ask the girl who's singing around the flying rooster if she knows anything about ocarinas. No, she says nothing. <laughs> hey, that's a nice ocarina you have there. Oh my gosh, she does. Will you accompany me as I sing? I mean, honestly impressive that we went from nothing to, like, playing perfectly alongside her. So how do you like it? It's really touching, isn't it? Does it stick in your mind? We'll just say yes. You've learned the Ballad of the Windfish! This song will always remain in your heart. Nice! Please remember this song. You should play it every once in a while to keep it fresh in your mind. Okay! I wonder if it does anything. I mean, I wouldn't doubt that's how we wake up the windfish later on. Or maybe access things from the windfish. And there's another fairy! They still can't be captured, but, no, oh well, I guess they're just there for full heals.